if you like you know smoke your lips one thing to lighten your lips is <laughs> It's your girl Rosie, baby. It's your girl Rosie, baby. It's your girl. Alright, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. Um, today I'm back with another video for y'all. I know y'all miss me, so let's let's just get past that. If you're new to the family, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. To today we're gonna be talking about hygiene, 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 hygiene. And basically, I'm just gonna go like all over the place, all over the body, and the products that I use. If you guys wanna know about them, if you don't, that's fine. I'm still gonna post them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna share with you guys the products that I use for my body, for my face, you know, for my down there, and the things that you should do to keep yourself up to part for the most part. Not all the things you can do, but like majority of the things you could do. First, let's start with um your face. This is Seth Phil. I don't know how to really say the name, daily facial cleanser. And I use this. Also, I use, I recently just started using this. Somebody put me onto it and I was like, I'm going to give it a try. It's called Rose Hip Oil. So, set the fill, witch hazel, and rose hip oil. These are things that I use on a daily basis. The turmeric mask, I do not use on a daily basis. Um, I've done it prior where it's like I do it either twice a week or something like that when I'm really going through it but I do not use it on a daily basis for the fact that it's really it's really stainy if that makes sense like it stains like it stains your sink it stains your pillowcases all that so I don't use this on a daily basis as much other than if I'm doing it for like a month if I want to go through that process for a month then I actually do that something else that I use for my face is a uh, face brush i bought this at burlington i believe yeah i bought this at burlington and it was only ten dollars so and it comes with two heads yeah it comes with two two heads like two little spare heads so i used a face brush to just you know exfoliate the face in a way if you like you know smoke your lips one thing to lighten your lips is it. so you put sugar lemon honey and then you just like rub it before you go to sleep when you wake up or like during the day you just rub it rub it for your lips if you want like if you have darker lips that wasn't naturally dark before and you just want to you know get back in shape for your kitty make sure please do not shave and if you are shaving like if you do shave and it doesn't cause any type of irritation you can by all means continue what you do but if you are trying to not shave and you're trying to find an alternative please get yourself an at home wax kit i recently got this and i've tried it yes it hurts don't get me wrong like if you ever went to a waxing center you know the feeling that comes with waxing if the pain doesn't stay it's like it's a gone i'm going away pain so if you are able to get yourself an at-home wax kit and try to wax you can try to wax your underarms like i've done it before if you guys want to see that video it'll be in the description box below something else that you can do like if you don't wax if you don't want to wax or if you are waxing whatever the case is after you're done with this you can basically it is a smooth and refined body polish this cost i believe 18 dollars in the european wax center it's actually good y'all so make sure you stay exfoliated please if you are shaving take the precautions of avoiding razor bumps and like irritation to your body use a fresh new razor or shaver whatever it's called right um yeah and if you have any bumps there are things that can be used i believe it is called um 
what's the name of that product if you do have bumps it is called pfb um my friend recently did a video on that so if you want to check that out her name is the atusha show she have a whole review on it so make sure you check that out if you have bumps and this is tips and like basically hygiene talk all right so if y'all see me talk about everything and anything that's because i'm giving y'all tips tips i've used personally that works for me and i know that works because there's many testimonies on it like put it in a search or something and you'll see how much results there are good results so when you put a clothes on and then like you have deodorant stain or whatever i've switched over to spraying deodorant only because it's like it's easier for me to use and because i have sensitive skin any little thing can cause irritation and let's say like I pick up the wrong bottle of deodorant one day and I didn't see that it has something that I don't normally use and I roll it under my arms or somebody else used it prior to my knowledge and I just take it pick it up and I use it and now like I have bumps under my underarms and things like that so to avoid that I use this and process of me doing all that not shaving waxing um using turmeric and lemon and using this instead of the like roll on my underarms have naturally i don't know maybe it's been able to breathe better i don't know whatever the case is my underarms have went back to like a natural state where it's not like dark dark darker than my whole body type vibes so that's really really good also, me personally when i drink a lot of water i have to use the bathroom very 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 like every other second i'm like I gotta pee i gotta pee i gotta pee so i know me personally how that feels but i still try to drink like let's say i finish with this bottle i wait like five minutes until i pick up another bottle and try to finish that and then like you know just to keep it going throughout the day so that my body gets used to it and, and by doing that i'm clearing out whatever that i was intaking like i eat a lot of food i eat i love me some grill i love me some you know i love me some shrimp some crabs so i love all that so i'm always taking that in so i need some something to balance that inside of my body because i don't want my face to start showing that i'm eating too much grease so water stay hydrated y'all clutch i promise y'all this comes in clutch vaseline yes bro vaseline this is such an essential i cannot i can i have to have it somewhere if i don't have this in the house i don't feel comfortable i'm not you see my fingers in it i'm not kidding with y'all like i really use it this with your favorite lotion and then put it on after you hold on hold on i got something else for you bro leaves your body smelling good to the point where my sister-in-law is like oh my gosh like you smell good and i'm like girl i know like don't get me wrong i don't stink or anything but like this really 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 is good y'all so sum it up after you take a shower with this you go in bro and you put this with your favorite lotion come on now when you done using that come back and tell me how you feel come back if you don't feel good let me know i'll refund you your money bro when i tell you your body will thank you your body will thank you like also be sure like be really sure to wash behind your ears like this part wash behind your ears when you're in the shower wash your ears inside i'm not telling you to like bend your head and like drop a whole no, I'm not telling you that. Just like have like a little, you know, feel me? Just have something to just scrub your ears, the whole process, the whole nine. Have something to like brush your little toes. Have something to go in between your toes. Our bodies naturally um, release or sweat. I'm not going to say it's okay for you to be musty. No. Just if you know you sweat heavily and if you know that that happens to you just like have a like have a um 
what is that thing called a white thing a cloth i guess have like a little towel i guess have like a little towel that you walk around with and you just you know you're cleaning up after yourself because we need to stay safe stay clean and stay you know stay good yeah stay clean and stay good ladies 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 please do not just go straight to bed when you've had an eventful day meaning please do not just get home like i understand you're tired i understand you might be drunk whatever the case is um this is speaking generally whatever the case is you might be drunk you might be too tired from work whatever the case is but please do not just go straight to bed because you've sweated the whole day out whatever if you've had like sexual intercourse if you've had like you know whatever if you was on your menstrual cycle whatever the case is do not just go straight to bed you need to wash up wash up <laughs> i love it there yo meaning wash up yourself you feel me just like go in the bathroom take a shower if you can't take a shower wash yourself like wash wash yourself i'm not calling you dirty or whatever because i understand it's understandable some people get home and they're just like i'm really not trying to get into anything i'm just trying to find my bag okay i understand that because you know it's been eventful for all of us so make sure that all of us feel refreshed before going to bed your face your unarm your butt and your vagina if you cannot take the shower at least wash and clean them clean um all of these tips can be used for both male and female, but most of them are targeted towards female because I myself am a female, so I am speaking from experience. Um, you might be at Walmart and you see a Vaseline and then you see a lotion. You're like, oh my gosh, this girl told me like mix it together and I'll have good results. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. That is the end of this video be sure to like comment share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and stay tuned for more videos be coming hard are we coming at all it be that sick you feel me you see me yeah that's it